Take a look at this helmet a Utah father says his son was wearing when he hit a tree while skiing at Park City Mountain this week. Tonight, that teen is recovering at the University of Utah Hospital. Fox 13 News reporter Jenna Bree tells us why his family is sure that helmet saved his life. Mickey McPartland was skiing down an intermediate trail with his son Dax on Wednesday. He was behind me. He caught an edge. I saw his ski fly off. I stopped, pull over, I can't find him. Mickey found his son in the trees on the side of the trail. He smashed his head into a tree and then fell down into a tree well, a tree hole, and was buried in the snow, face down, unconscious. In the moment, Mickey says he was scared for Dax's life. His helmet is crushed, and I'm, I'm just panic drinking. I'm, oh, my God. The 19-year-old was rushed to the hospital. Doctors found blood bleeding in his brain, fractured vertebrae, and broken ribs. We see a lot of head injuries, so wearing a helmet is the number one way you can prevent those. And a lot of times folks say, well, I got a concussion even though I was wearing a helmet, but oftentimes those concussions could have been brain bleeds or skull fractures, and the helmet protected the brain from that and left them with just a concussion as opposed to something more traumatic. Mickey says there's no question the helmet saved Dax's life. It's in pieces. If he hadn't had that helmet, even the surgeon said he probably wouldn't be here. The McPartlands are hopeful their son will be able to leave the hospital on Saturday so Dax can be home for the holidays. Reporting in Salt Lake City, Jenna Bree, Fox 13 News, Utah.